I'm Dave Donaldson, welcome to Grip Tips, and today, screwing in baby pins to the wall. Now, I don't see this used uh, enough, but uh, this is actually called a nail-on plate, uh, or a baby plate, or a pigeon plate. Uh, one of the three. I call it a baby plate because that's kind of the way that I was trained. Uh, additionally, it's easier than saying pigeon or nail-on. So, baby plate. Now, this uh, particular baby plate in general costs about uh, $20 max. Uh, you can find much, much cheaper ones, but this one actually feels like it's built to last. So, I went ahead and spent $17. This is a Matthews baby plate, and I love the crap out of this thing. For this tutorial, you will need four things. A pancake apple box, four drywall or wood screws, a baby plate, and a screw gun or screwdriver with a Phillips head. However, I don't like to mess up my pancake apple boxes though, so I've done what a lot of people have done, which is I've made a pancake out of plywood, and it's essentially two pieces of plywood with the pancake dimensions that are wood glued together. The first thing that you wanna do is place the baby plate on the middle of the board. Then take four screws and screw the plate down to the wood. Okay, before I go any further, and I know that this may make a lot of people mad, uh, but I'm just simply quoting what I've heard in the industry for a really long time, what you've now just constructed is called a beaver board. Now, before people go trolling and crazy, I'm just quoting what people have told me and how I've heard it for the last 10 years that I've been doing this. So, don't shoot the messenger. Moving on. Now you can actually set a light on the ground by mounting your light to the baby pin of this beaver board and you can kind of get that cool shadowy ceiling effect that you see with your actor in the foreground. Another use for this B board okay, is to use it on a table for a C stand for a monitor or maybe a portable table just for a beauty shot of some sort. You can also use a baby plate to mount into walls. Just make sure that you have permission before you put holes in somebody's wall. Now, if you're an independent filmmaker, make sure that you have permission. You don't want to be drilling into a stranger's walls. Uh, if you work on a studio back lot, that might be a different situation. It's almost expected, but I'm still going to check in with like my best boy or my key grip or my best boy electric or uh, my gaffer just to make sure that it's fine for wherever I'm mounting this baby plate. But that is all that I have for you guys today. If you like today's episode, please leave a comment in the comment box below or any feedback, really. I look at all the comments. Uh, and additionally, uh, I have one week left until I give away a furniture clamp. So again, if you don't know what I'm talking about, revert back to episode 10 furniture clamp so you can learn more. Uh, hit that subscribe button because I have plenty of more episodes coming on the way. Uh, so you don't want to miss those. And uh, until then, we will see you every Friday right here on Grip Tips.